Hey guys, what's up? Jared here. And today we are going to work on fixing a couple of my fluorescent lights. Now the lights I happen to have in my shop are 8 foot T12 high output fluorescent fixtures. When I put these in the shop back in 2009, they were basically the brightest fixtures you could get. They are 110 or 120, well let's find out. They are 110 watts per bulb and they put out quite a bit of light. Now the problem I've had and the reason why I'm switching is I am flat out tired of buying new ballasts. It seems like I lose anywhere from one to three, maybe four ballasts per year. And they've basically outlawed the T12s. They are gonna stop making the ballast for them because they are not energy efficient. And it's gonna be harder to even get bulbs. And if you look back there, I have a fixture that has a bulb that's starting to die, super dim. But my biggest problems are these two over here that have completely died, probably due to ballast failures. So to fix those, I am going to convert over to an LED bulb. Now finding an LED bulb that fits into a high output fixture is a pain in the butt and they are stupid expensive. I'm thinking I could not find a bulb under $100, so we're not doing that. And the reason is the T12 high output has a rectangular two pin prong on it. Now all day long, you can find eight foot bulbs that have the normal output T8 style single pin on the end. Now in order to make those fit, we're gonna install these. Now these are called tombstones and that's what's at the end of your fixture. And I picked up a couple dozen of these or something, but I bought them on Amazon and I'll put a link down in the description so you can see what I got. But they're super easy to install. Now in order to run the LEDs, I have to gut and take the ballast out anyways because these are not ballast driven LEDs. Some LED lights will allow you to provide ballast power to them, but these are direct wire. so. I have to gut the ballast anyways, so while I'm at it, I'm just going to run the AC power directly to these tombstones. And once again, we're going to start with these two. I bought four bulbs to start because I'm hoping they work out like I want. I didn't want to buy and convert everything if, if they don't work out. So we're going to start with those two fixtures, replace those, and then compare them to the other fixtures and see if they put out enough light. Now I will do some looking up and some math and show you the lumens numbers in the bottom of the video here but these bulbs should put out roughly the same if not maybe a little bit more light and the bulbs i went with i also got off amazon and i'll put a link for those below too but they are two strip leds actually classified as a t8 they're not as big in diameter and they are angled a little bit fan beam so instead of being just on a flat strip they actually angle out a little bit so it'll give a little bit of a fan beam to the lights and hoping that will give me some good coverage. So let's get started. Let's go gut the ballast and install a new tombstone and see how these work. Okay, to change these tombstones, I'm gonna take this entire sheet metal piece out. And to get it out, I'm gonna pry out on this and rotate this guy upwards. And that allows the whole thing to come out. Now I already cut the wires just to get them out of the way. And now these tombstones slide right out the back. There's a couple little burrs here that help hold them in. So you might have to fight it just a little bit, but they'll slide out the back. And I'm going to run jumpers from one to the other just to make sure I have power applied to both sides of the new tombstone. So now I'm going to insert the wires that we cut off of the old one and insert this into the new tombstone. I'm going to strip it back and there's little holes in here. You just push the wire in and it holds it. We'll feed these wires up in through here. 
and slide the new tombstones in. Now with that clipped in there, everything is held in place. Okay, should be ready. So now let's wire up the other end and put in the other sheet metal plate and install our bulbs. So what do you think? Those look bright? I think we'll really be able to tell when we get the other one done. So let's get this other fixture swapped out and then we'll see how big of a difference it is. I like them. So I'll see you tonight at dark how much light they put out and when I don't have any daylight coming in the garage doors or the side windows, but I think they're doing a pretty darn good job.